Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have our weekly Microsoft Edge security updates rolling out, which Microsoft pushed out uh, late yesterday, once again in my part of the world, on the 7th of November. And this is not just a security update. There's a couple of extra little goodies going on in this latest print release. And at first to check we have the update, as always, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And latest version and build after this update has been applied is 130.0.2849.80. And that point release has been bumped up from 0.68. Now, first of all, um, we get various bugs and performance issues that have been addressed and fixed once again. And uh, Microsoft pushes out a bug and performance issue fix and fixes almost on a weekly basis, sometimes twice a week. So if you have experienced any issues since upgrading to version 130, then just double check the browsers up to date. And over and above that, we get our Chromium security fixes rolling out. And um, for this week, we don't get any edge specific security fixes, just uh, fixes for the open source Chromium project, which the browser is based on. And this week it includes two security fixes and they are both high severity and they are both use after free vulnerabilities common exploits and um, those use after free are common exploits in these chromium based web browsers and they, the two exploits are use after free in family experiences and use after free in serial so two security fixes rolling out for the open source chromium platform which obviously edge is based on now with that all out of the way i'm um, just to focus on a couple of extra little goodies that i have spotted since updating with this latest point release and uh, first of all, if we just head back into our settings, you will see now that Sidebar is now has now been renamed to Copilot and Sidebar. So that's a little change I spotted. So it was just Sidebar, now Copilot and Sidebar. So obviously uh, Microsoft wanting the description to focus a lot more on Copilot and Sidebar because obviously Copilot is a big aspect now. Of the edge browser so that's been renamed from sidebar to copilot and sidebar so that's a little change and then something else i've also noticed which has been on a controlled rollout since version 130 of edge started rolling out um, around about the middle half of october last month is the new major settings ui makeover has um, become available uh, in my region with this update so I'll leave Edge 130's video linked down below and in the end screen so what I'm referring to is um, if we head to our high densely populated uh, pages so as an example for appearance you can see now we've got the top settings here it elevates the top settings on the page and then divides up different components like theme into its own subsection and categories and when this first started rolling out I actually didn't like this but I'm actually a lot more in favor of it now because I think it does bring a lot little bit more organization and a, a less clutter free experience because some of these highly densely populated pages like appearance cookies and site permission we can see the same applies these were getting quite long system and performance just to mention some examples so it elevates top settings and improves settings page navigable navigability and more so um if you not haven't seen these um this major settings you are makeover since updating to version 130 just check this point release may have rolled it out in your region and the reason i'm showing you this on my windows 10 device is because that has not still has not become available on my Windows 11 device with the major settings UI makeover. So there we have it guys, our latest point release. Um, it's not just a security update, it does bring a couple of little extra tweaks and adjustments as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.